So we had the Tarkov TV devcast on the 1st of April um, at about like 6 p.m. Uh, UK time. Uh, it's just finished now. Uh, I've got all my notes here. Um, essentially, they've been working nonstop uh, through sort of, you know, all the world issues that we know about. Um, they have a game to finish. <laughs> That's what he said. It, you know, we have a game to finish. We're, we're you know, carrying on. We're, you know, we're keeping on. They went straight into it. It was about sort of like an hour podcast, like an hour devcast. So it wasn't like the longest they've had. But yeah, they've got the new gun, the Chiapa Rhino revolver. Um, I think it's a 0.3... Five seven revolver. I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. They didn't show the ammo or what it uses uh, that I could see anyway. Um, there's different calibers. There's four versions apparently, and there's the smallest version takes up a one by one slot, like literally a pocket slot, which is insane. That's nuts. Um, that's I've not seen it before. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work. That could be interesting for um, for hatchet runners to just pull out a revolver like hey. <laughs> In parallel, you can uh, have an ability to. To, to see the translation and like, from time to time I'll switch to Russian just because I really want to. Привет всем, ребят. Не беспокойтесь. Все нормально. Работаем. Вот, все хорошо. It will have a speed reloader as well. So, you know, fast reload. Speed reloader means you put in all, well, I guess all six rounds, I think, is the revolver in, in there instead of a one by one. Um, arena development is apparently going well. Um, they are, you know, it's it's a, it's a single level. Apparently, there's just like one one kind of level one map, and uh, they say they want to release it this year, tentatively. All right, so it's 2022. The I think you mentioned it. Um, I'm pretty sure I I, did, I don't think I heard it incorrectly. So this year potentially arena. Um, still some ongoing technical developments in terms of like DLSS, FSR. Although DLSS, I'll tell you in a second. That's my next point. Um, FSR is in the works, not quite done yet. DLSS is done, so that's good. I mean, we saw um, there's there, you know, there should be a uh, you know a, a thing on screen, a video on screen to show you. Um, but uh, there's also some AI improvements they're doing. Steam Audio, they're still work, they're, they're, they're still working on technical things like AI, Steam Audio, just general kind of like fixes for for things. Probably uh, they haven't, they didn't mention inertia at all. I assume they're they're working on it. I don't know. I want to think they're working on it. I hope so because you know it does need some tweaks, right? For sure, it's great, but it needs some tweaks. Um, but yeah, next point, DLSS is in the next update, uh, ready to go in one to two weeks. They say so. Uh, one to two weeks from the first of April, twenty twenty two. Okay, so um, yeah, great, fantastic. And from the clip, uh, should be on your screen now. If if I can get that, um, should be about twenty. Uh, like on average, I saw a twenty percent. Uh, sorry, a twenty FPS improvement. Uh, I think DLSS really only works for 1440p and above. So 1440p, 4K, whatever, you know, um, uh, from what I've heard and seen anyway, I don't know if, if that's true for for um, Tarkov and 1080p, but I'm pretty sure from what I've been told, it's 1440p and above for like the high resolution above HD. Um, so yeah, some items will not be destroyed when using crafts. Now this is like a, like a auxiliary... Um, item that will be required for a craft a, cra a craft so like a screwdriver they didn't in real life they don't get destroyed right when you use a screwdriver or a, a wrench or something you don't you know it just doesn't just disappear right so they've made it so that things like like screwdrivers will be will come back into your inventory after the craft in the hideout has been done but they will also make those much rarer in games so There'll be more of them because you, you can keep them once you find them. They'll, you know, go, you know, go back into your hideout and that's fine. You use it. Now a trade, I don't think so. Trade's different. Trade, you give it in and you, you that's gone. Only crafts. Um, but they'll be much, much rarer in game. So you, you won't find these as often. But then that also, uh, you know, so for example, the screwdrivers and things, a, a good thought I just had actually like right now is that that would give room for other items to spawn as well. If these screwdrivers and wrenches and things are a bit rarer, then you think that other things would spawn in their place. So that's nice. You know, you get different things spawning around instead of screwdrivers and wrenches. Now, weapon and armor repair kits. Uh, this is this is an interesting one. A lot of chat was like, well, what's the point? I think I think it could be interesting, right? So um, essentially, it gives you the best repair chance. So I think the same as mechanic, I guess. Um, and I think, I mean, I think they found a raid as well. I mean, on the, on the clip, uh, I guess I'll show you here. I think that, I mean, they look found a raid, so I imagine you can find them in raid. I'm not sure if you can use them in raid, though. I don't know. They, they, he didn't say. That's to be confirmed. I, I mean, it would be cool to actually be able to use them in raid. That'd be, that'd be actually huge. They're quite big as well, so if you want to bring it into your backpack, 
you can do, but it's pretty big and I imagine pretty heavy. Surely it would make sense, wouldn't it? So that's cool. I wonder if there's like animations for that too. Interesting. Uh, daily and weekly quests will now contain weapon types instead of specific weapons. So you know how you got a quest to say um, 10 scavs with a um, an AKM or something, right? Now it's just 10 scavs with maybe a 7.62 assault rifle or a, uh, a 5.56 gun or a shotgun or an SMG. Just general kind of guns, like a group of guns. Instead of one gun, you have a group of guns that you can use. So that's good. That, that kind of opens up your options. If you have lots of guns like saved up, you can just use whatever you want, you know, in that category. Now, you can change daily and weekly quests at a cost. Um, again, I'm not sure when all these, these changes are coming in. Probably uh, within the next big update, I imagine, right? Um, some, I mean, like DLSS might not be... DLSS will come in the soonest update, I imagine. All of these will come sort of at a, a later date. Like, they might not be, you know, in the next update or the next one after that. Maybe just soon. Soon, soon, you know? You know? Soon, soon. Um, if you get it weekly and you don't like it, it's like extract from labs 25 times. You're like, <laughs> come on, dude. Like, really? <laughs> so you can change it. That's good. That's cool, you know? Um, you can sort of, I guess re-roll it in a way lighthouse expansion this is huge um they do say uh it is uh it's not quite ready yet still not ready yet uh still a work in progress they're still working working things out but uh we got some uh, some screenshots we got uh, a you know like a big video of, of it you know in, in in terms of how it looks and how it's going to feel and all that stuff and also a uh, a screenshot of the in raid trader now not in raid it was like a concept art it wasn't actually in game um, but he looks cool. Looks dope. Now, it looked like there was like a few marked rooms as well. There was a few marked rooms, maybe signs of cultists. Cultists could be there as well in nighttime. That could be interesting. I, I imagine we'll have some, some new keys, uh, well, some new rooms to unlock as well. I'd enjoy that for sure. But yeah, there is new bosses. Uh, and I, I think he said the, the boss, there will be a boss that will defend the lighthouse. So it won't be easy to, he said, he said it will not be easy to access. Very, not, very much not easy. So, yeah, protected by a sniper boss. Uh, I guess kind of like Sturman maybe, but just different. Maybe an actual, you know, a boss with a sniper rifle, like, a, you know, an M700 or something. The Lighthouse Trader in Raid isn't finished yet as well. Like, you know, the, the whole expansion is a work in progress still. They're still doing it. And then uh, they revealed Flare Gun to call in airdrops. I don't know if this is... I mean, it, it was literally, it was working in game and they literally, it, it looked really good. Like, I'll, I'll show you the, the uh, clip now. It looks really good. And I'm not sure. Obviously, this is April Fool's Day. This is 1st of April. I don't know if this is troll. I, I can't tell. But that's pretty cool. Uh, flare gun. Yeah, flare gun to call in airdrops. I guess we'll, ha we'll have to see. I don't know. I th I think this is legit because they put in a lot of effort to, to, to make it work. That was that um, quick, you know, quick sort of uh, video to kind of get that done. That is that is the Tarkov TV dev dev cast for April 1st.